hi viewers of ninja diaries um i welcome you to another episode on ninja diaries podcast explore with ninja diaries and what we'll be doing today is more or less like a relationship talk but anything we do in this session please guys know that it is our own opinion it is not necessarily for we are not imposing our opinion on you guys it is just what we feel and i have one beautiful guest with me here she's an entrepreneur a fashionista you know <laughs> let her introduce herself so introduce herself hello everyone what is your name mm, mrs oluwani shola olaide mrs oluwani shola olaide yeah. meaning that you are married yeah I'm married your ring yeah well nice <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do please um let me just say i'm a businesswoman I have a store, I'm into event planning too, and I sell accessories like Mr. Watches and all. Okay, uh, that means you are doing different businesses. Yes. You run different, uh, different businesses. <laughs> like three to four. Odogu <laughs> Nimu. Odogu. <laughs> Actually, what we'll be doing today is just like we want to seek your opinion based on um, gender that you have. Okay. And this session is supposed to be like between you and other gender, but I just want to challenge you oh. as the man. You understand? I'm scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> just, just chill out. The question for today is: Are you ready? Oh, like, go. are you ready for me? Let's go. What are the chances hmm, that you think, or let me let me put it in the way that? um what are the reasons like do you think that it can affect a woman in a relationship to be cheating oh, you want me to expose my gender nah not really <laughs> i just want to hear your own opinion like what do you think it usually affects women in a relationship that may push them From to go cheating. and cheat yes okay okay i think there, there are a lot of reasons you know I'm a woman, so I should know a few of it. Um, first thing first, I believe this society don't even see cheating as a big deal anymore. I noticed that it is getting too much on yeah, the that's internet. Yeah, true. It's getting too much. I like, call almost every day, almost everywhere on the internet yes. it's about cheating. So, well, I think the first uh, or major reason that prompts cheating to women is maybe the lack of attention in my own opinion okay I mean, that's a general um reason you know we ladies we can be fragile we can be tender and we want this love to be some small things aside okay. from the fact that we want money we can't deny that we want money okay. but after money i believe we ladies we like someone be clingy okay. and that little spaces you know some guys um let me just say men give okay we count it and men don't count it okay you know, okay be checking up on from time to time be, you know those little gifts receiving flowers because to me i love flowers i don't know about others but I love flowers. okay i'm still coming there but <laughs> let, me, let me keep hearing what you are okay just be like though that little space counts okay. a lot okay and um about maybe this person has a good a boyfriend okay. and that, that guy believes like everything she wants is money she kept he kept on crediting her crediting her my agenda will not will not deny money we will take it i will not even say that it's too much okay but when you see someone maybe when she sees someone like this person is calling from time to time. Have you eaten? I'm sick. Maybe, oh, have you do this? Have you do that? Okay. It tends us to draw more closer to that person. To that person. And that can prove cheating, you know. When you are more closer to someone. And another thing, let me say, we like and we've been connected emotionally. And that is part of the attention. Yes. Okay. Eva, mm-hmm. I should understand you now. You mentioned two things. Morning. Mm? and attention yeah okay now my question will now first go into attention okay. 
let's put it into practical example now like you are married now yeah um what kind of attention are you referring to in the marriage okay when i'm talking about attention okay i want someone who can um, who can see me and be like this person is not fine or when i when i said that i'm not okay i want that i want my husband to be there for me immediately okay you know okay i want this i've said it this cozy relationship now hold on <clears throat> coming to that aspect do you know that um we men we busy a lot yeah that's like true. with business and all okay now if you are dating a billionaire now or let me billionaire is too long if you are dating a millionaire now do you expect to be having attention or to be getting attention from that person 24 hours the attention i'm talking about is not 24 hours okay it's just at the right time at the right time no, okay okay let me let me give you an example all right i'm working i can't be stressed and sometimes just a little call like hello how is work doing hope you are not stressed are you okay that can come my nerves as at that moment now, but what of other people that their husband do calling them their husband do check up on them but still they still are on the they find their way to cheat yes, that's i'm still I, coming to that side of money but that's why i say we have different um we have numerous reasons to cheat some might be lack of sex you know and it's rare for it's rare to see someone like a, a lady who is okay. who is who doesn't, who doesn't have a, this eye libido who doesn't have a very some people don't drive. do some people don't have eye sex drive that's why i said it's rare not all but let me just say 80 percent of women of women as this we love sex 80 percent of women love sex okay so if she's getting an attention and she's getting money from like at the right time okay. she's lacking sex but the, the sex part is lacking okay definitely that's my prompt cheating but okay. not everyone has the mind to you know so my just okay okay be... we already derive another point now yeah which is attention sex and money let me go to money aspects mm -hmm. like money in aspect of given biza biza or in aspect of financing what you need mm, let me let me answer that in my own perspective okay because um, we love money differently okay like you are how, how how well do you love money i love money to have my own money okay. so much to have so much money to myself not to just sit down with someone and chop money i want to chop money but i love money to have my own you know that type okay to make crazy money for myself okay so, but when it comes to taking money from me or my or my husband to sponsor me okay. in as much as you are contributing to my business okay you have done so much for me okay you know okay i'm saying it i have about three different businesses if so, you can you can establish me more or okay. you can help me to grow at least one or two in okay. my business definitely you are okay with that yes you are okay with, that. Yes. Are okay with that. that yes like aspect of buying gifts mm, i love gifts you love gifts yes but I... now let us assume that your husband is financing your own financing your business okay. supporting your business supporting your dream but he's not doing well much on the gifting gift aspect can that prompt you of cheating no we have different um how do i put it how do you put it different way of showing you okay sending gifts might not be a way of showing you and if it's mine it's it's my responsibility to teach him to let him know this is my own way of appreciating gift of he knows my mother knows i gift me a lot he gift you a lot i myself i, I gift me a lot because i love gifts so the okay. moment I'm gifting him, I'm sure he will reciprocate. No man, no man. You no know man. that this person loves gifting. Definitely, we want to gift me back. No man. So it's a thing I can adjust. Or let me just say something I have adjusted. Okay. So I don't see that we have different love languages. So uh, if gifting is my love language, I'll teach him to do that. 
for people that are cheating now. Okay. You mean if their love language is by gifting and their husband is not gifting them? Well, that can prompt it. Too. For someone who is contented, money is a gift too. Money is a gift. Yes. Me receiving an unexpected credit alert is a gift. Since I didn't demand it. You know, there's difference between give me this, I need it. Uh, sudden credit alert. Okay. It's a gift. Okay. Or maybe it's just a parcel and I see a money bouquet. That's a gift. What of people that are now getting the gift, getting the attention? For example, now people like I said the other time, people that are dating Bilonia now, you can't be expecting them to be available for you 24-7. It is not possible. Because you see them before you marry them like yeah. that. <laughs> so if you're now complaining that your husband is not giving you attention, I, mean, I don't know what you what else you want to. That's why I said it just now. Like some people are not contented with what they have. Understand. You you mean people you mean there are some ladies or there are some women that some that are women, still not contented yes. with the attention they are yes. getting from their husband. Yes. Not being selfish or not being able to appreciate what you have can prompt that. That's a, that should be another um reason or another example. Okay. You, so you you get gifts, you get the little attention you can get, and still you still want to cheat. That means you are not satisfied with what you have. Let's just assume that it is only unsatisfied women that cheat. Is that what you are saying? Um, to me, in my own opinion, I believe like unsatisfied. And but what do you cheat. now think men does that can prompt their woman to cheat? Um, you already mentioned one that um, if you are not giving your woman attention yes, and are now so giving it to you that true. if you are dating a billionaire, you can't expect 24 7 attention yes, and, I'm, and i also like uh -huh. little attention should be okay not like you should spend your whole day talking to me and you need to work for us okay. yes. if you make your own money and i make my own money it should be easy for us you understand okay. so i just I, would, I just believe like call me once in a or when you know that i'm trouble just be there for me i believe that's what attention means be there for me when I needed it. Not like every time, no. You have to sleep I, with me at home all day or night. No. I don't want a lazy bit. Okay. So, uh, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, what can we say that it usually affects women or prompts them to cheat? That's why I really said... Like, because if you ask me that kind of question to man now, I know what to say. Okay. Let me just say that if... if a lady okay is not satisfied with sex maybe in anything that can prop cheating but if you're getting everything like you, you have good sex you have money you have attention and still still go ahead to cheat definitely that person is selfish and out of self-control okay maybe self, let me just say that self-control if a lady lacks self-control you'll not be able to do the right thing Okay, let, let's now assume that all what you mentioned, like let's go to your monetary aspect. Someone in love with you now. The person has been doing well before, doing well, gifting you, sending you money and all. And uh, uh, along the line, that person now went broke. Maybe probably life happens or yeah. business crash yeah. or mismanagement of money. Or let me put it in the way of wrong investment. That person now go broke. Hmm? And that person now stop gifting you for a while or stop sending you money. Does that guarantee of woman going out to cheat? I would say no. My own opinion. Your own opinion? Yeah. You said no. Why do you say no? The reason is that if a man can't if a man is going any length to make you comfortable okay. when he is okay i don't think sticking by him and you i believe you go in that loyalty okay sticking by him is not should not be a bad now should not be a, a, a hard thing to do i don't okay. think because okay this person is rich and life happens okay within some within a period of time things were, went so 
that doesn't i don't think you should cheat because of that okay that aspect i think we've cleared that aspect in a little way now coming back to sex okay like how long do you think a man can satisfy a woman on bed because you said lack of sex sometimes you it can affect or it can prompt a woman to cheat like how long do you think a woman should do you know the reason why i can't just say a specific time is that we i've said it we have different type of body okay so i can get satisfied within five minutes that doesn't mean another person can get satisfied within five minutes okay. we have we have people like jama machine <laughs> at least at least people do marathon sex marathon yes you yes. mean 24 <laughs> hours yes it now. is not possible it is possible L- like how can one man i'm not joking i have a friend like that to be honest i'm not i'm not even like i have a friend like that marathon sex. oh 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 did that your friend married or still single well, he's still single. He, she must be very single <laughs> because a man <laughs> can never have that power to have nah. sex with you 24 no, no, hours. No, 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 no. This is, you know, you know, this is about immune system. You can't judge with your own immune system. I'm not judging with my own. See, let me, let me, let me say something right. Uh, although we are already driving to another content entirely, but I'm um, still part of the talking. So, what I'm trying to say is that if a woman is not using aphrodisiac, if a woman is not injecting himself, I'm a man. I know what we can do. I know some some German machine. They hold on, hold on. I know some people have that capacity. Yes, now. Do you understand? <laughs> but believe me, me, I'm telling you that it is not natural. A man, see, oh. a man can only come twice before you get exhausted with your ejaculation. After that, you want to kill yourself. <laughs> See, this marital sex is not even about ejaculating. These people will even pray not to come because they want to get is where right I'm, every time. And so. that is where I'm going. If you are not ejaculating, definitely you, it's either you must be having a problem but or you are using one of the friend that I'm talking about, he, he doesn't use anything. As a matter of Your fact, friend, goes, yes. like the lady is not using anything. I'm talking about a guy, not a girl. He oh. doesn't use anything. He doesn't even smoke. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink. He drinks but occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. And, he, he, and he and he have marathon sex. Maybe that's how he was built. That's how he was built. Mado. So Mado. back to <laughs> what I'm saying. Okay. Because someone can get satisfied within five minutes. We have ladies who don't like sex at all. Okay. And we have But do you believe that some who, people like that still cheat? You what is the essence of cheating if you don't like sex? Maybe it's for money. Maybe you just want to have one dummy. Oh, oh, oh okay. That will be pushing the credit alert. That that's was, that for money. Be... That's for that... that's for money. <laughs> but we are talking about sex part. Okay. <laughs> if you don't like sex and you are cheating, no, it doesn't add up. If sex is you what you are lacking, useless. yes. If sex is what you are lacking in your relationship, okay. and you are claiming that you don't like sex, no, I only maybe you are lying to yourself, or you just want to, or you just want to comfort yourself with that. Okay, that meaning that you are trying to convince other people that you don't like sex, but it is sex that you are lacking in a relationship. And now, uh, how, how are you? How can you? How can you seek for you? It's as if you 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 seek more of what you don't like. Why? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So let's just conclude that if anybody is having um having a problem in a relationship concerning sex, that person must be must have high libido. Is that what you are saying? Like the sex drive of that person is high. Yes, and the and this uh, partner doesn't fit to that stage. Uh, okay. Now let me ask you. We are dating now. Like probably at least minimum of dating should be one year. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now we are dating Maybe six for... months. I don't buy that idea. Uh, uh, although it is choice, I'm not imposing it. But I don't buy the idea of dating for six months and going to the marriage. Okay. It's it work for some people, yeah. but then it's just like you are setting trap for yourself <laughs> in some cases. Yeah. Okay, so well, we are dating now, and you already know my my capacity. Yeah. I already know yours. And a woman, and a man will propose to a woman that will you marry me? Okay. 
if now you know that I don't have that capacity to satisfy your hormonal drive, yes. say you, you will do good, you will be, you be boss. <laughs> yes. I mean, you are just managing me just to cool up. Do you have to accept that ring? <sighs> For I, you now to be cheating in your marriage? I think before the proposal happened, we should have sought that out. That is what I'm putting to you. Me, me saying no to someone I love because of sex, though it's a very good reason. I might not want to cheat in my marriage, and I know that this man can satisfy me sexually. Okay. So instead of me to just be in the house and be sloughing around, I can say no and move on with my life. Hey, but why? It's possible. Uh, why do some people don't say no, and they? I believe maybe she she might try to convince herself that she can adjust, adjust later. or maybe the man can adjust and i used to say it before you can adjust after marriage ah anything any moment you enter that marriage just believe like it's as it's either you want to take it as it is or you want to wait till the changes comes itself you can't force it hmm. So maybe she tried to convince herself that ah, this person is good for me and there is a clause. Okay, maybe I will adjust. Okay. That's that's that that happens. Okay. Or maybe she he can adjust that happens. And men too. I know like men make promises that they can't even fulfill. Oh uh, like what type of promises? You know, in this sex aspect now, you know that you can't fit into this person's standard when it comes to your papa. You okay. Understand? So, okay. <laughs> Men be like, don't worry, when we get married, I'll do this, I'll seek help, I'll do that. And at the end of the day, after that marriage, they get busy with, with, some, work. with another thing, you understand? He might want to do it, he might have the plan, but immediately this marriage comes up, you know that responsibilities that hit you, so he started those like, so, don't even have Should the we time. blame that on man or... No, I don't. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just stating the pos the the possibilities okay. that can make a woman say yes to someone who knows that is not she not fitting in. This. Okay, but me, I will blame the man for that because he promised what he cannot fulfill. Mm, sometimes it might not even be intentional. I've said it. He okay. might believe like, okay, I will have time for this. You know, after marriage, realities some realities we set in. Hmm. You will want to also for two. You will want to stock the kitchen for two. Probably, maybe you 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 want to have um kids at early age. You want to also for three. <laughs> so the time might not be you know might okay, not be available madam. to fulfill this promise. Okay, so that can prompt a woman to cheat. Him. Mm, I to a woman who can't control herself or control her libido. I think that can prompt her. To cheating, most especially if you are still in connection with this, your old ex, you are the very <laughs> big. You know? That aspect, don't let us even go there for now because if we should be talking about that kind of ex <laughs> for this generation, what the ex don't do ah. for this generation? Um, uh, ex, ex and bestie, bestie, we are still coming that one. <laughs> don't let us talk about it today. <laughs> so I've understand the fact that you mentioned um um money monetary aspects an aspect of being available financially yes. you've mentioned um time conscious like not creating time for your partner yes. can prompt a woman to cheat to yeah. cheat and you've mentioned um sex aspect. sex aspect but that sex aspect me I, I still believe there is there is a way to it too because if you can control yourself. Me as a partner, I'm supposed to come down to your level. Although yeah, no, it is no, noise. That's the reason why it's supposed to be. But because of maybe that. Maybe I will make you try that to convince her. I will pay her. No, my worry. I will fit into your standard. And Emma, you find sure. Sometimes you don't be ignore red flags when it comes to love. And that is very bad, actually. Yes. Because ignoring red flags is just like you are setting uh, takute. Yeah. Ah! Be for yourself to be honest. because at the end of the day you will be wanting to correct what you're supposed to have correct that's what i said they maybe they should have practiced it before the marriage like shame only level up 
calm down so let go and leave what do you now suggest if boats cannot compose themselves before getting married do you suggest that they should marry or they, they should, should just part ways because there's no way you'll be you'll be married to someone and you'll be cheating doesn't make sense to be honest i believe like marriage is like a commitment the moment you accept the ring like yes i do definitely there are a lot of don't hmm. the i do have there is a lot of i don't behind that i do so you have to stick to that i don't the same way you stick to i do okay okay i believe like sex is a good reason why you should seek more when it comes to marriage life because sex is one of the major major things in marriage that is disturbing marriage now you are saying that sex is major reason yes one of the major reasons let's now put it to we are both odogus now we we no we are odogu you are odogu i be odogu we match each other but now we are venture into marriage and along the line maybe business keeping busy do you think that that we can all have problem in that aspect i don't think that should cause a problem because this marriage that we are talking about is not like every time you have sex no in marriage there's no way you, you have sex in four hours a day ten, seven hours a week no i'm not saying she made me on the i'm getting busy now <laughs> even if i don't even if i don't go out to work at least i will have some chores in the house that i will do definitely i'll get tired in marriage there, will, there should be a fun time if it is weekend you guys know that okay this weekend i'm going to smack you down as it then you know that maybe till next weekend maybe, maybe we should yeah. suggest that people uh, should be doing time yeah table. not not time table she just it should be a mutual agreement okay. if your husband is busy you should know that this person is busy but anytime he's around i'm going to have myself i'm going to enjoy myself to the fullest sex is an intimacy between two not one hmm. so when you think like because he's not around i should do this definitely i'm being selfish but if you are not getting some certain thing that should listed like um the attention the money the sex part you are free to cheat i'm not saying you are free to cheat no um but not... it can still be understandable i don't even think anybody will want to understand you like you're cheating because of money will be like oh serious can't you work for your own money i don't think monetary aspect should be an uh, excuse of cheating mm -hmm. since you can work for your own money so definitely someone that is cheating because of money they, they are lazy to work i'm not lazy to work just too selfish or too tired so it's an excuse for you not to work for yourself you are feeling entitled you are being lazy you just just want to like acting irrational okay i think um we've learned one or two in this session actually this episode is still going to continue i'm still going to fix sorry. up sorry okay i think i missed this but I've mentioned it before. Okay. Emotionally connection, emotional connection. Okay. It's actually very, very important. It can prompt a woman to change. Yes. Emo Even, emotional connection in what aspect? Yeah, yes, that's what I'm trying to explain. You know, sometimes most it happens that most women don't even want to cheat. Okay. But when you like have they don't time, have the intention of cheating. Yes, they don't have the intention of cheating. But when you see someone you are confiding him aside your husband aside your best friend that place might be my serve as a conf, as a comfort zone for you to cheat apart from cheat like a comfort zone when you are not sure. connected emotionally to your partner and it's not as if your brain in the has it it affects men too uh, um, but that, we are talking about <laughs> That is Women the aspect now. of I said um bestie bestie. Yeah. That episode that's, is still that's coming. That's when that's where even it prompts some ladies to fall into lesbianism. To be honest, to be honest. Okay, like if they are finding it difficult to confide in yeah, their husband yes, or in their in partner. Their boy, yes, someone who is always listening, who is always there to. Who is giving you listening? Yes. yes. You know, ladies, you might feel too comfortable in that aspect, and this can happen. Sometimes it's even happen unknowingly. Hmm. Like later, you be like, oh, "This doesn't make sense." 
You yeah. understand? So being emotional connected to your partner is very, very important. Like working out on friendship with your partner. Yes, be your ba- partner best friend, be able to talk to him anytime. And he should have listening ears. Because we ladies, we are very, very, we are, we are an emotional person. But what of those people that they don't used to speak up their mind? You know, if you are not speaking out, I cannot know what no, to put on. There is no one who wants to be silent forever. That's why I said we have someone who we are connected to. See, I'm so okay, you are always okay. But when I see this person, this is my favorite person, I'm ready to download everything that is wrong with me, I'm ready to spit it out. Okay. Without holding it back. Okay. That's what I mean by it. if you are connected to someone emotionally, there's no way you can keep things away from that person. That means um updating yes. in relationship so is very not necessary. Being connected to your partner emotionally, that can prompt so cheating. So we we have like four or five points now. Um monetarily, sex, attention, connecting emotionally, and what again? Selfishness. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Selfishness. But uh, people can... will never be content. If you if you even come if... from heaven, if Jesus come from heaven to give them everything, <laughs> you still not be satisfied. They will still go out there and cheat. And I will come out there when that most skinny. I want to cheat because if anyone breaks my heart, I'm ready to hop to the next. That's what's crazy? Oh, next on the queue. What's yeah. crazy? Exit point. I will in Daboski. Next. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what's it now? <laughs> Uh, actually, I really enjoyed this session. I, I I feel like we should not end it, but then the time is not permitting us. So, guys, I think we've learned one or two, and we are still going to continue this session. Probably our guest and with other person. Uh, but then, um, before that time, I I want you guys to please don't stop loving Ninja Diaries, don't stop watching us, don't stop sharing love, and please check on our page too she have good products for you please tell us your Um, what to do and your instagram handle well i have a business page that's oab recall woman events and my own personal pages oab 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 yeah so that will be all for today, um, viewers of Ninja Diaries. We really appreciate. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another episode like this. Thank you. <laughs>